In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to make a landing page on Builderall. You'll be doing things you don't like doing in order to go on living, that is to go on doing things you don't like doing, which is stupid. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a landing page and specifically it's going to be on Builderall. Um, there are loads of other platforms out there but I'm going to be showing you how Builderall works and how you can create a really simple landing page um, for a CPA offer. Okay, so if you've already seen my um, other videos on Max Bounty and Snapchat, um, then you'll know that I created a landing page on Builderall for um, that specific offer and I did actually show you the land landing page in those videos but I'm going to just show you again just in case you haven't seen those videos. I will leave them linked below if you haven't seen them just in case. Um, but this is the landing page, it's a really simple basic landing page um, but I've had quite a few messages um, asking how to make a landing page so I just thought I'd do like a really quick video um, just to show you a basic one um, so this actual offer is the Primark offer on Max Bounty um, and for all of the offers on Max Bounty if you're doing paid advertising you will need to create a landing page this landing page just is really basic. Do you shop at Primark, Primark and it has a yes and no button um, and both of the buttons actually click through to the same page which is your affiliate link. Um, so let's head over to Builderall and create the landing page. Okay, so on Builderall this is the home page. Um, if you go to the left hand column you'll see builders drag and drop pixel perfect so if we click on builders <clears throat> head to drag and drop pixel perfect and then you have my sites new website sales funnels so they have loads of different sales funnels you, you can use if you're um, if you're after a sales funnel and um, there's loads of templates you can use um, but what we're gonna do today is we're gonna click new website because we're gonna choose one of the templates that's already in Builderall. So you, there's all of these, these blank page, you can use under construction, there's sales funnels, templates, there's internet marketing, so if you're doing a marketing agency, there's, there's templates for that, there's blog templates, um, health and wellness events, music, fashion and beauty, it's tons and tons of different um, templates that you can use. But what we're going to do today is we're just going to do a blank page because we're just going to create a really, really simple website. Um, so I'm going to click on blank page site express, go to edit. Hang on, my internet's really slow so I'm just going to put my phone in the kitchen. Okay, and we're back in the room. Wow. And it's still not loaded. Okay. Right, yo. Okay, so this is what um, everything looks like. It's just some text. We're obviously not going to use this, but you get the picture. We're going to delete this because we don't even need that. Uh, parents. None. Okay. And we're going to delete that, right click and delete that, <laughs> delete this, we'll keep the button just because we're going to use a button, um, okay, so, this is, I created this a long time ago, so, um, first of all, we want the button to be, we want two buttons, so let's duplicate that. Duplicate button is just down here, so we're going to duplicate the element here. It's probably not going to be exactly the same, just because I'm just showing you how to do everything. 
so we want a box just a simple box to go behind everything So everything, if you want to create something, is all in this plus tab, just on the left hand side. You can create your text, your banners, your boxes, your buttons, image, gallery, everything, menu, that kind of thing. Um, so we are going to have this. If you want it to go behind everything else, then you just go to layers at the bottom. And hopefully it works. Hang on. So that's now in front of that. We actually don't need that, so I'm just going to get rid of that. And then the buttons are going to be in front of that. Let's delete that text. Okay, so we've got the box. We want the box to have a border, so we go to Appearance, and then we go to Border, Border Style, Solid, and then you can basically add your border in there, so you can make it thicker, or you can change the colour of it, let's just change it pink for the sake of this, what, what colour did, okay so it was like a blue, let's do it similar to what I'm trying to achieve okay and then you can change the actual box color in appearance so you right click go to a colors background color that was pink so let's do it pink let's go back to border and make the border a bit thinner Okay, and now these buttons, we want to change the text on them, so just click on the button, right click, text, yes, and no. Oh, what, what did I just do that? Uh, appearance. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm doing today, I'm not actually thinking. Text, sorry, so right click then text. No. And remember, so these buttons are going to the same affiliate link. So then you want to go and find your affiliate link from Max Bounty. Let's go to Max Bounty. Let's log in. Miniature Does that does this do does it do this to anyone else? Like ask you to enter your details twice. I'm not sure why it does that. Anyway, so let's go to Primark. Search Primark. Let's go to this one. And so this is the Primark Secret Shopper page. So you'll find your affiliate link. If you scroll right down to the bottom of the page, go to select creative type, banners, get tracking code, and then your affiliate link is literally this part of all of this HTML. So make sure you don't copy all of that, just copy the affiliate link. And then we're going to go back to here, we're going to change this, um, so you go to right click and then action, page, select, oh hang on, sorry, let me do that again so you're not confused, action, and then return to the previous menu and then that will take you to this section here and what you want to do is go to web address and then paste your affiliate link in there okay right click on now action 
return to previous menu, web address, paste your affiliate link in there. And then all we need is Primark logo transparent PNG. And we want to save the Primark logo. Let's go to images. That one will do. Save image. Primark. Let's go back to the HTML editor. Plus image. <clears throat> and then you want to click the image. And then basically it'll just come up with this. What you're going to do is right click that. Change image. This internet is great. Upload. <clears throat> Go to my downloads. I don't need to be telling you how to do this. I'm pretty sure you'll know. Primark. Open. And then basically I'll upload it into this section. But don't forget to hit, once it's done this little tick bit, actually click that. And then that will um, put it into here okay so what we're going to do is bring that down here and then we're going to add some text saying do you shop at go to the plus section go to text ah Let's just click any and then to edit this you just double click Do you shop at what colour did we do that? White. Oh. And then to change the colour of it, you're gonna go to text, right click and then text. I'm going to change the colour, we're going to go to the T and then change it here. Yeah, and then we can change the font here as well. To whatever you want. Let's just choose Helvetica. And then... I mean, I hate that font, but let's just, for the purpose of this video, it doesn't really matter what font we're using for this. Okay, and then you can also change the colour of your buttons, so you can go to appearance, right click and then appearance, and you can change all of the colours, That you can add a border um, in this section here, so you can add a border, solid, let's just, we can change around that. Um, and you can also change, you know, when someone hovers over it, you can change that colour as well, um, which is in all of this section here. Um, and that is basically all you need to do. You can obviously change this by just right clicking. Anywhere you want to change, you just right click it. Up to this section here, you can actually, if you go to settings and then platform settings, and then you can disable the tablet mode um, and even mobile if you're not. Uh, if you're not wanting mobile, but obviously if you're going to do like snapchat or Instagram or Facebook or any, anything like that Obviously you want to you want to keep mobile on so what you'll need to do is just save this Just save it as Primark offer 
um, and you want to go to mobile and just make sure everything is all in line on mobile just so it's yeah see this is going to be all over the place so we'll just make sure you can change all the sizes and everything we'll just make sure that these line up for mobile and obviously you can change the, the size of the font for specifically for mobile but it's really is it's i just find it so like i <clears throat> i have used wordpress for probably about i want to say like mm, seven years ish um i've got a blog imaginrose.co.uk um, it's just like a lifestyle and fashion blog, but um, I've used WordPress for as long as I can remember, and this is just so much easier, just because it's just drag and drop, whereas WordPress, you are very limited in what you can do and where you can put things and the size and, and everything, so unless you go to like a, a web developer and say, right, I want this there, that, wherever, like you can say wherever you can get them to make you like um, a kind of template which obviously you have more control of um, but the the basic templates on WordPress are not that great you can't actually change them around a lot whereas this you have full control of where everything goes um, so yeah that's basically how I made my landing page for the CP offer C CP CPA offer um, that you may have already seen. If you want me to show you anything else, um, if you need a tutorial on anything else, then please let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to do that. Let me know what other things you want to see from me in terms of affiliate marketing and also other things like, because obviously this, this channel is lifestyle based as well as bits of everything else. I might do a fitness video because I haven't done a fitness video in a long time. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a thumbs up if you um, found it useful. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn the little notification bell on so you don't miss another video. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!